In this video, I'll show you how to combine the sum ifs and VLOOKUP statement in Microsoft Excel. In one of my previous videos, I demonstrated how to combine the sum if and VLOOKUP statement in Excel. If you haven't watched that video yet, the link is available in the description box. Today, I want to demonstrate how to combine the sum ifs and VLOOKUP statement in Excel. In other words, this time we want to use the sum ifs as we have more than one criteria for the summation. We have two tables here. The first table contains a list of customer IDs, order dates, and also order amounts. The second table, which is this table right next to it, contains a list of customer names and customer IDs. As you can see here, the order amounts exist on the table to the left and the customer names do not exist in this table over here. So the criteria we want to sum based on are the following. So the first criteria is that the customer name has to be equal to Steve Lemmy, and the customer name only exists in the table on the right-hand side. And the second criteria is that we're only looking for orders which are after June 1st, 2020. So we want both these criteria to be applied to our formula. So the formula I'll use to sum all customers where the customer name is equal to Steve Lemmy and the order dates are after or greater than June 1st, 2020 is as follows. It's displayed on the screen right now. So now I'll apply this formula in this cell over here. So here's how it goes. We'll start off with a sum ifs, open parentheses, and as you can see, the first argument here is the sum range. Now, in my last video, in the video in which I explained how to combine sum if and VLOOKUP, the sum range was the last argument. So now note that this is one of the differences between using a sum if versus using sum ifs. So the sum range in this case is the order amount range. So I'm going to select the order amount range. And I'll also apply a reference lock. So I'll click on F4 to apply a reference lock. Next, I'll put a comma. Now I have to put the criteria, and I have to put the criteria in couples. So I can put as many criteria as I want. So first I have to put in the criteria range followed by the criteria. And uh, if there are multiple criteria, then I have to put the criteria range for the second range and then the criteria for the second range. So I'll start with the first range. So my first criteria is the customer ID, which is in this range over here. So I'll select this range and I'll also apply the reference lock by clicking on F4. Now that I put the criteria range, I'm going to put in the criteria for the customer IDs, which is going to be done using a VLOOKUP. Seeing that the name we're looking for is not in this table, we have to look up this name through the table next to it in order to decipher the customer ID from this table. So here's how it goes. After we put in the criteria range, I'll put in VLOOKUP. Then uh, the lookup value is this name over here. I'm looking it up in this table over here and I'll apply a reference lock to all these cells just to stay on the safe side. So in the VLOOKUP, I've already entered the lookup value, the table array. Now I want to put the column index number. So in the index number is going to be two since we're selecting from the second column. And the last argument is going to be false, seeing that we want an exact match. So what this does is uh, this VLOOKUP statement returns the customer ID for this particular customer. So in this case, if we only copy and paste this VLOOKUP within a cell, we'll get the customer ID which corresponds to this customer, which in this case will be ID 007. So that's uh, the criteria range and the criteria for our first criteria. But note that since we're using a sum ifs, that means we have more than one criteria this time. So I'll put a comma. Now it's time to enter the criteria range for the second criteria, which in this case is the date, the order date rather. So we want order dates that are greater than June 1st, 2020. So I'll first enter the criteria range which is this range over here. And I'll also apply reference lock by clicking on F4 again. And then I'll put a comma and 
I will put the criteria. Now we don't need to put another VLOOKUP again this time. And that's because the order date exists in this table. If it didn't exist in this table, just like customer ID didn't exist in this table, we would need to do a VLOOKUP. But VLOOKUP is not necessary, seeing that the order date already exists in this table. So I want order dates which are greater than June 1st, 2020. And this is how I'm going to put the criteria. I'll put double quotation greater than closing double quotation, and then ampersand, and then I'll put this date over here, this cell, which is June 1st, 2020, which is the reference cell. And that's it. So now the last thing I have to do is to put in a closing parentheses and click on enter. So I'll go ahead and do that, closing parentheses and enter. And as you can see, this formula has provided us with the sum of all orders in which the customer name is Steve Lemmy and the order date is after June 1st, 2020. Now let's just uh, do a spot check. Let's just look into the data and make sure that this formula has indeed provided the correct sum. First thing I'll do is I'll filter out all customers uh, where the customer ID is ID 007, which correspond to this particular customer. So there are, let's see, there are a total of three customers apparently, which uh, match that criteria. So here's one, here's two, and finally, this is the third one. And now let's look at all the orders for these three highlighted rows in which the order date is greater than June 1st, 2020. So there's one. And this one is smaller than June 1st, 2020, as it's January 28, 2020. But this one is December 30th, 2020. So this one matches the criteria as well. Now let's see what the sum for these two records is. So 617 plus 597, the sum, as you can see here, is equal to 1,214. So this uh, validates that our formula is indeed correct. And this is how we can combine the sum ifs and VLOOKUP statements in Microsoft Excel. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If so, make sure you hit like so that YouTube would push this video out to more people. Also, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. That's all for today. Bye now.